Welcome back to another episode of the Girl Power Alliance podcast. So excited today to interview this woman who is a very, very dear friend and now newly member of, contributor of um, Faith and Fitness here inside of the Girl Power Alliance membership. And I can't wait for you to meet her. So let me tell you a little bit about my, my guest today, Teresa Fackler. She's been in the fitness industry for 12 years as an instructor, a coach, a personal trainer, and now her and her husband own a gym. Um, she has a love for boxing fitness and helping people to find what fitness looks like for them um, at any age and any stage of life. She spent many years in a traditional corporate gym as an instructor and in various programs. She says that she saw so many people who felt like they didn't fit in, people who physically could not always do what most people could, and those who were intimidated or too shy to even try at times. This tore at her heart. She says, God loves us all and wants us all to thrive and have strong, healthy bodies. She longed for a place that everyone would feel included and be given the opportunity to participate no matter what their physical challenges challenges might be. She believes that God put this desire in her heart to have a place for people to come and feel part of something, feel accepted and feel like more than just a member of a gym. People know that they matter when they step into her gym, uh, which is called Envision Train Fitness. Uh, she has also found uh, that uh, she, uh, I, she has also found that she's been given an awesome platform to share Jesus with her clients and spread his light and love for everybody. Welcome to the podcast, Teresa. Thank you. I think we can be done. You just said it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what's wonderful is Teresa and I have known each other for a really long time. And uh, for many years, she said, you know, it's my dream to open this gym. And I have this vision of this place where women can come and they can feel like they're part of a family. And you have done it, my friend. Yes. Well, I've, yeah, I've just, God's done it. <laughs> right. I've, I've literally just follow along. I, I look back so often and I'm like, how did this even happen? I don't even know how it happened. I, I, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. But I mean, there's just something about having a call and I, I there's a lot of things I want to ask you, but specifically you, so, okay. You, your background though, before fitness you worked in corporate America. You were in graphic design, correct? Yes. Yes. 28 years. <laughs> so the, were, the whole time that you were doing that, did you have this draw towards like movement and fitness or is this something that came later? No, this is um, something that came later through a, well, my, my daughter at about 10 or 11 years old walk in, walked into my bedroom one morning at six o'clock in the morning. We were getting ready for school and work. Mommy, your belly's fat. And it was a light switch. <laughs> And literally, I always ask people, what is your light switch moment? Why do you want to be here? Why do you want to get healthy? What, what has changed now from any other time? And that was, you know, for me, it was so easy. That was my light switch moment. And literally, I changed so many things in that very day. And then just, it just kept rolling from there. But yeah, I was known as the girl that um, I didn't like to sweat. I was always done. I was always matchy matchy. I didn't like to get dirty or or anything. And it's so far from what I am now. Isn't that funny? I didn't yeah. know you like that. I've only know you, oh, known you as like somebody who's really passionate about fitness. Yep. Isn't it awesome to be able to look back at your journey and see how God has used these little moments to really like like forge the path for you. Who oh, yeah. would have known then at that moment from your daughter making a comment to you, just the innocence of a child saying something, you know, she didn't even know she said probably, but really it set you on a course. It did. It did. And for many years, so when my daughter was born, I had cervical cancer and um, I, you know, it, it was, it was caught, you know, early enough and taken care of. And I just always believed that, that there was a, purpose, a reason why, you know, I was saved when, you know, when so many others aren't. And for so many years, I just, I had no clue. And, um, I really believe that God was just setting the pieces up all of, all those years, um, to put us where we are now. Well, you're a true inspiration. And so let me just tell you guys a, a little bit more of the backstory here. So Teresa and I have known each other for a number of years. Um, we met through network marketing uh, in the same company on the same team. And uh, she lives on the East Coast. I live on the West Coast. But I just feel like we've been, we've done so many accountability groups together, so many calls. I just feel like, like you are one of my closest friends just because we know each other on a level that you don't know people that way. 
And I, that's how I always felt very connected to you. And so Bobby kept kind of nudging me with Girl Power Alliance. He's like, you know, you really should, you should, you know, you're so passionate about nutrition. You should really make that part of something that you add in the membership and, and fitness and nutrition are such big things to me. But I, I knew that I didn't want to, I was like, I finally submitted. I was like, okay, I'll do, I'll do the nutrition thing, but I need somebody to do the fitness part. Um, just like you, fitness is a huge part of my life. Like it's a daily part of my life. And for me, it's, um, it really is an act of worship. It's, it's more than just going to the gym for an aesthetic thing. Um, it is, it is where God speaks to me and it is where I feel like I get to do something that's for me, for him. Because, you know, my whole belief is that we cannot fulfill our purpose if we are unwell. And so, you know, movement is a big part of that. So um, I was like, I'm going to ask Teresa. I really wanted somebody that could include, um, you know, their knowledge of the body and training and movement. And I was like, I don't know if Teresa is going to be interested. So I, so those of you, if you're listening, I sent, did I call you or I think I called you. I was like, can I call you? And I said, so I want you to think about something. And I kind of presented, this is what I, I would, I'm looking for. And she just goes, yes. <laughs> I said, well, do you want to think about it? She goes, no, yes, yes. And so, I mean, I think it's awesome because you told me and will you share it with people that are listening? Like God had already kind of been nudging you maybe in a direction. Yeah. It's, it's uh, well, we have this busy gym and we have classes and that, but I just feel like there's something, something more, something next. And I had no idea what it was. Um, and I, I, I have no idea where it's going, but it just, I just felt like there's, there's more, there's still more, you know, every time I feel like, okay, we have it. This is what we're supposed to do. This is what we're supposed to, who we're supposed to impact. There's, it's always like, no, there's, there's more. Keep going. And, and um, so I'm, I, I, yes. And the funny thing is when you, when you called me, I happened to be on a break. I was at global, global leadership, which is a, a Christian leadership um, summit that's held every year. With Craig and, Rochelle and all of those amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It was the first time that I participated in it. And uh, I mean, it was just like, it was like instantaneous. It was, there was no thought needed nothing. It was, it was like, yes, this is right. You know, I mean, it was, I was ready to like pitch you. Like, let me <laughs> think about it. And I was like, I'm going to say all these things. And you were just like, yes. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. well, so, um, as part of within the membership, one of the things, one of the features that we just began in the month of September, it's called faith and fitness. And it is this beautiful woman right here. And she will be showing you things that you can do at home with no equipment to, um, you know, steward your health. And she's including scripture and verses. And um, it's so important to me because what I know about the brain is like, if you wanted to learn another language that you would learn it, science has proven that you will learn it uh, like almost twice as fast if you are including movement in the listening of that other language. So like if, um, I, I can't think of the name of that really, really popular program that everybody mm -hmm. does. Um, I know uh, exactly what you're talking about. It's, okay. right it's like there. on the tip of my tongue. Yep. Um, anyway, it'll probably come to me in the middle, but um, you, you buy these, you know, programs to learn another language. They say, if you do them while you're like, you're taking a brisk walk or exercising, you will learn it twice as fast. And so when you are moving your body, when you're following an instructor, who's giving you cues as to how to, and you do such a good job at that, Teresa, and, okay. and she's speaking scripture into you. It's like, it goes into you at a different level. It's like it breaks down through like the brain fog, all the chaos of life, and it goes right into the heart, right into the soul. And it is an incredibly powerful thing to participate in and to, um, you know, to do for your, for yourself and for your body. So I'm beyond grateful that you're doing this. Oh my goodness. I'm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm super, I'm super excited for this. Uh, because yeah, for me, you know, working out is, is so many things and, and, and worship is one of those and building strength and to be able to help others and impact others and, and, and yet, yeah, and to be able to do it in a, a Christian setting with other, you know, Christian women and help impact in that way is just, you know, beyond belief. I, and I, I didn't do this kind of thing before. 
Um, so I, so many things with this pandemic that have been, I hate, I almost hate to say it, but there have been so many positives in my life because of it. And one of those things is that I started immediately doing at home workouts for all of my clients and for whoever else wanted to join in for free. And the entire time I figured people are out of work, I was going to gonna go ahead and do it. So I learned very quickly, you know, how to do things at home. So I, I, I kind of think this is one more stepping stone God was setting yeah. up, um, using, you know, using the pandemic for something good, at least in my life. Yeah. Oh my God. So many things. Um, oh. I mean, you know, I, I don't feel guilty about that because I've heard it over and over. God, you know, God kind of gave everybody a little bit of an opportunity to kind of maybe things that you wanted to do. It didn't have time or maybe even forced you into different areas because of, you know, trying to, to figure out how to pivot dur during the, the craziness. Um, I, I want to ask you something. You told me a story years ago and if you don't want to share it, then we'll just edit this out. But you told me a story years ago about why you got into boxing as a part of your fitness and how it impacted you at that particular time. Um, would you would you be open to sharing that? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, because I think that's a big, it's a huge part of my story. And I don't share it very, it's like the gym has become something much bigger than just me and my story now at this point. Um, so I really don't share it very often. But uh, I was involved in a mentally abusive relationship and, you know, thank goodness it was just mentally abusive. And, but coming out of that, I had a girlfriend and this is right at the same time that my daughter says, mommy, your belly's fat. <laughs> and, uh, but she said, I know that you're not going to go to therapy or anything like that. She said, so come to boxing with me. And, you know, I, I think you need to hit something. And, and I was like, okay, you know, and being the very timid, shy one at this point, I had no confidence, no self-confidence, no self-worth, no self anything, um, you know, like the lowest of the low. And, um, and, and boxing really changed things. It, it, it instilled um, so much in me and in the community and just really brought me out of my shell and, and, and almost like did a complete 180 um, and just really poured all those things into me. I know it was God pouring all those things into me, but that I had always wanted to be that I did not feel I was like confident and extroverted, even though I felt like it when I was around any other extroverts. Um, and just being able to speak in front of people, all those things that were in my heart um, just really seemed to blossom. And, and it was one of those things where I was like, you know what, if this helped me in this way, um, you know, this is how Envision came about, you know, that I was just envisioning what it could do for other people. And, you know, I believe that God, you know, put the whole Envision thing in there and, and yeah, so it, it, it was a very dark time in my life, but, um, as the, as the song goes, there was another in the fire with me. And I just, I just truly really leave through all that time. God was there just working mm. and, and molding and changing things the way that they needed change. Um, and for me to see things in a totally different light, totally different perspective, um, because of everything that was to come. I feel like fitness does that for a lot of people because it's a way that you can take control back of yourself, of your life. It's one thing that you have complete control over. Yeah, I like agree. Nobody can, you, you can step into wh whatever it is, if it's a cycling class or, or cy like cycling on the road, or mm -hmm. if it's running or if it's taking, you know, anything that has it, it's you, it depends on you. Um, it's, and so you have complete control. And I feel like, um, I think that's one of the reasons I'm so passionate about nutrition and fitness in general is because you have complete control over it. Nobody's holding a gun to your head, forcing you to eat bad food. You know, you're making the choice. So making the choice to say, you know what, I care more about myself and, and the mission that God has given to me. I care more about that than I do about, you know, getting wasted tonight or drinking a bottle of wine and zoning out or, you know, eating this whole flat of brownies, <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause you're like depressed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what? I mean, not that I, and I'm not, you know, this is not a, this, there's no condemnation or judgment, but, but for me, that is it. That's what it's actually about for me. And so I taught um, at my church 
um, classes and I used drumsticks. You've done drumstick classes? Yeah, yeah pound. I, they, mine weren't weighted. They were like actual drumsticks, like, like to play drums with. Okay. And um, I took a course one, I took a class one time in, during my training and there's something so cathartic about, um, not just, I mean, there's cathartic anyway, like even just punching the bag or taking a class or whatever, that's cathartic anyway. But when you specifically use scripture and when you specifically use lang your languaging, um, you know, repetitious things that you're saying and, and the type of music that you're listening to, like breakthroughs happen. So we were mm -hmm. taking this drumstick class. We were actually sitting on the floor and we were, we were uh, speaking about breaking things off of our lives, breaking off, um, you know, uh, bondage, breaking off lies that the enemy has spoken. And I cannot, like every woman in the class was crying. Some women broke the drumsticks. They were hitting oh. the ground so hard. That's how, they're hard to break. Like they're thick mm -hmm. and there's just something it's like next level for me. And I know that maybe if you're listening to this, you're like, what are you talking about? If you've experienced anything, when I first started in the fitness, like really getting serious about fitness, there was a lot of turmoil in my life. And I would go into the gym and I would get, I, I didn't know anything about fitness at the time. So I'd get on my elliptical because I thought that was like really me working out. And I, I would have worship music in my ears and something would shift and I would bawl. And I think everybody thought I was nuts. They thought I was this crazy person. I know that you've experienced that. And I know that you've been the facilitator of helping women experience that probably men too in your gym. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've had, um, Oh, I remember a class and it was last summer. I remember because there were six people and I think it was two men and four women and real, and, and they were slamming balls. They were slamming slam balls. And all of a sudden, like four of them are in tears and I'm like, what's going on? Are I'm you like, hurt? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. No, we're just going to keep slamming balls. And by the end of it, um, no, the guys weren't in tears, but it was just like they were releasing something. And it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was one of the best things I've seen so many people. Um, there's times that I will ask people, can I dig a little bit? And like, especially if I know something about them, just, you know, to, to pull something else out of them or to break through something. And I, I you know, I, I believe God, you know, gave me yes. that gift in all of this as well to really help people go to that next level. So, um, so yeah, we, we've, we've had quite a bit of that in the gym and tears and, and, and sweat, you know, obviously. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, and I'm excited to add scripture to it. So ever since you've asked me, you know, there's so many things I'm hearing that I'm like, yes, I got to use that. Yes. I'm going to use that. Yes. That talks to me. That makes them, you know, maybe in a different way, even, um, you know, from like this past Sunday at church while I was sitting in the middle of a lake on my paddleboard, um, going to church, um, something that, um, that our pastor said, and it had nothing to do with, um, the heart as in, um, a healthy heart. It, it was a healthy heart and re-examining re your heart, um, you know, uh, in a different healthy way. And, um, but I was like, oh my gosh, that, that is next. That is, that is the next one that I'm going to do because having a healthy heart, um, you know, and for not just for, you know, your body, but also, you know, for Jesus and, and for, you know, everybody around you and, 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 and really re-examining your heart and what it's, you know, what it's doing right now is, um, is it was just something that really hit me. I can't wait. I cannot wait to use it. <laughs> well, I, I just have to warn you, like now that you've stepped into the space, <laughs> you're not going to be able to go back. I know. I mean, I, I will tell you when I started the sold out entrepreneur podcast in 2017, I kind of felt this call and you know, I, I just, I listened, but it changed me when, when you step into a space where you get, when you've been given permission to speak about those things that you don't really talk about, like you're working out. Are you talking about Jesus? Right. But when you step into a space where you do it, it's like you're stepping into this new corridor and you can't go back. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to warn you, like you're stepping into it. Yeah. No, and I'm, I'm, I'm totally, I, I'm not stepping in. I'm, I, I, I jump. So I have, I want to tell a quick little story. Um, and this was, uh, 
It, well, it had to be since um, October because last October we are, our Envision turns one in um, technically for when we open the studio. Um, it's been for a couple of years now, but when we open the studio, well, October 1st will be a year. And I have this one client who um, is a Christian as well. I have quite a few clients actually that are, that are Christian, but um, she's very... Um, not timid, timid. Okay, so here's the thing. Her butt was looking real, starting to look really good. She's putting a lot of work into it, okay? And she, she said something about it, and she's like, but I feel like I shouldn't even be happy about that. Oh. And, and, I, and I was like, why not? You're putting work. She's like, well, she's like, because I don't want to seem vain. I'm like, you know what? I said, I said, we... We as women, as men, as humans are made in God's image. I said, so why shouldn't you be proud of the work that you have put in? Why shouldn't you be proud of the way wow. that you look? Not saying that you're saying, oh, look at my butt or anything like that, but be proud of that and you know, and 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 what God gave you to use and how you're taking care of it. And it was instant. It was such a shift in her that it was crazy. And I was like, oh, that was good. <laughs> I was like, oh, that didn't come from me. I said, oh, I guess I was supposed to tell you that. Well, you definitely oh. have the gift of discernment. Um, you definitely have the gift of encouragement. Uh, you are a courageous woman. And, and I, I feel like um, you're stepping into something even that you haven't stepped into yet. I feel like there's something, there is more. There's more than even this. And so I'm... I'm, it just blesses me to have you um, part of Girl Power Alliance. I'm blessed knowing that as women turn on that video and they move their bodies and they listen to the words that are coming from you, and as you're doing it even more and more, like that flow from God will just come even stronger, and it's a powerful thing. So I'm, I just want to say, first of all, thank you for not just this. Yes, thank you for this. But thank you for who you've been in the world and, and the lives that you've impacted for so many years. And thank you for stepping into this and saying yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you for asking. And, and you're welcome. Um, I'm excited to see where it goes. And, um, and yeah, I felt a little in the first video, whenever I teach to somebody new, um, whether it's online or whether it is, you know, in person, I'm always a little nervous. So, um, I, hopefully that, I, hopefully my first video didn't, didn't, didn't seem nervous, that. didn't seem okay, nervous good. at all. Didn't good. seem nervous at all. Um, good. for, for those of you that are listening, if you're not yet part of the Girl Power Alliance family within the membership, you have access to every month, you're going to see faith and fitness and you're going to watch this amazing woman, um, share her heart with you and be a vessel for God to help you with those breakthroughs and to strengthen that body so that you can, you can fulfill your purpose. And for those that are listening, Teresa, how can they connect with you? Tell everybody all the ways that they can connect with you. All the ways. So I am on Facebook um, at Teresa P. Fackler. Uh, I am yeah, Envision Train Fitness on Facebook, Envision Train Fitness on Instagram, um, Envision Train Fitness, soon to be on LinkedIn. Um, oh my goodness, uh, Envision Train Fitness at gmail.com. Do you have a <laughs> website? Um, yes, Envision Train.com. That one doesn't have fitness on it because that's before we added that on. So, Envision Train.com, yeah, all, all ways to, uh, to get a hold of, of me to, you know, see a little bit of, of whatever, whatever about me. And whatever's need. coming. So, yes. Never if stop. you're listening, don't worry, because we're going to put all that information in the show notes. And if you're watching right below the video, we'll have all of Teresa's information below the video. And I'm just excited to see what God's doing in your life, my friend. So am I. So am I. And um, I'm, I'm just, so, I'm so grateful. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm so grateful for so, so many things over these last six years um, since, since I've met you. But um, just the fact that you, the shining light that, that you shone, um, you know, that really, it was a light bring, that brought me back, back to, uh, back to God. I mean, I've always, you know, I've been a Christian. I've always, I've always had that, but to really open back up and to see that it is okay to put that out there. And, and, and that it's, and, and it's, you know, a good thing. And it doesn't, it's not sleep. It's not any of that, which I saw so much of, you know, in my life and just to, and, and just to be real and authentic. And that is, is just what I love to share. So I'm so grateful, eternally grateful for you and how God used you in my life. 
Mm. Thank you, my friend. You're making me cry. <laughs> Okay. I love you. I love you to pieces. <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.